What's up, guys? It's R.S. Vaughn for the Chair Guys podcast. I'm with my co-host. Uh, Anthony Spiked, you know how it goes. And we have a very special guest here today. Go ahead and introduce um, yourself. Heiston. Heiston. <laughs> That's uh, a good Twitter. introduction, yep. Heiston from Twitter. Heiston, Heiston right. from Twitter, yep, ladies and gentlemen. That's, yeah. But Vaughn, what we got on Slate today? What are we talking about? So today, we're going to be talking about a new album that just dropped. Highly Ooh. anticipated album. Sick I, by Earl Sweatshirts. Okay. And um, I'm going to give the floor to you, Anthony. Let's just jump right in and okay. get started. Yeah, for sure. Um, I would just like to say, like, I want to talk about, like, before the album came out, you know, we got some of the singles. The first one that dropped was 2010, which was, like, bonkers. Like, when it, when it first dropped, I was like, this is crazy. Um, Earl is going into a whole new sound, I think. And I, I just thought it was very interesting with... Um, I guess just how weird of a beat it is because it's like some are calling it wonky and I'm like, okay, like that's not true. But okay. wonky is, I think, a good term to describe it just as an adjective. So I was super excited for that. And then from that point, that's when the anticipation built for everything. Um, why, why are we getting laughs? Why are we getting laughs? It's like a heist in space, bro. Like, you're just. Oh, okay. The... Yeah. I no, it's okay. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so yeah, no, I was, episode, I was, I was in big anticipation for this album because it's Earl. His uh, previous work was some rap songs, as you can see, like right there. Um, it was his, it was his big work. You know what I'm saying? It was his. Everybody, you know, that album like broke boundaries for people that introduced them into a whole new like subgenre of rap, mm -hmm. um, which people describe as slums. Like whatever, I'm not using that term, but slums rap um but like for the most that's, part you, I, you realize that's the name of a collective that the sound originated wait, from it's not like that's the name of the collective that the sound originated from it's yeah, not like some it's not oh, like okay. I, I just saw like abe james talk about it on tiktok so i was like okay but um anyways back to it um yeah no i i was in big anticipation for this album because that's a big album to live up to some rap songs yeah and like for the most part, now that we have the album and we have it in our hands, I think I think this is a good, like, he lived up to the expectations that I had set forth for him because this album is extremely crazy. And it's really cohesive okay. in sound, I think. Like, like I love how it sounds like a, a late night dinner party that's just gone wrong because everyone is, is too drunk, is, is too high. Um, everyone's like just super cross faded and, and it just sounds like a like especially the 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 glasses like hitting each other on um tabula rasa um heiston what are you pointing at i'm not pointing what at you you were, you were you're doing this like what, what is that okay anyways <laughs> i don't know i don't know heiston interesting individual but yeah no for the most part i i just absolutely loved this album um I don't know. I I, I want to I want to open the floor to others so I can kind of kind of bounce off, because like I I could go on and go do track by track and all my favorite shit, but like I don't want to take up everyone's time. Okay. So, I said. Oh me. Yeah. Yeah. What are your thoughts? All right. The floor is on the board. <laughs> the floor is on the board. Let's get up. Getting that out of the way. Oh. Um. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I liked it. It was um, it was kind of just what I expected, you know. Nothing like caught me off guard, but it's really good. You really, know what I mean? Nothing, like, nothing, nothing caught you off guard. No. I mean, from the singles, that's like exactly what I was expecting. What we got, so like, okay. I mean, it, yeah. it's I loved it, but yeah. Well, I don't. I don't. I honestly don't know how you could. Well, no. Expect that. I could not expect a trap Earl. Like I agree. I no, like, I agree I with mean, them because I didn't think here's it was why. like. I don't know. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Okay. Okay. Like. Okay. Twenty ten was kind of not what I expected when that came yeah, out. Yeah. Twenty ten like, was really weird. But like, w that's but, the only single I heard. But when I heard the album, I mean, okay, I love this album. I'll just get that out of the way. So, I mean, we're on the same page there. But, let's get it um, out of the way. Get it out of the way. Yeah, let's just let's get it out of the way. But, oh, um, way. yeah, it, it wasn't anything that I didn't expect really past that song. Because, I mean, 
most of the songs are kind of just like that continuing that same type of sound um okay. the beats are really really like good but like, they're not like anything other than like 2010 and uh, a couple other songs they're not anything new for earl um the title track sick and uh, i think there's one other song as well with like a more trap beat but um that's different for earl but really um if you if you have your ear to the streets and shit you know what i'm saying like you know what's up like i'm just saying bro yeah like you know what's up like earl is yeah. okay um he obviously took an influence from lucky and um if you've heard the the song that earl produced for lucky then this is this isn't like too big of a surprise hearing a song like sick even though sick was probably off-putting to a lot of people but i really like that song i think he did it i think yeah. he really embodied that sound well i think yeah. the most like standout truck to me was the zaloopers one when he came in mm. the beat and everything yeah that yeah was, no the beat the beat was that was probably the most crazy. like shocking moment or not shocking but one of the most standout moments of the whole album. I think that's what I think that's what I, I think that's like the consensus, honestly. Like everyone yeah, loves the Looper's, Looper's track on yeah. here. Like he did yeah. a great job, and I, this is this is just pu pushing further. Like that when me and Vaughn were talking about on our Looper's episode, that like dude, dude can. I think he's pretty versatile, and he can. Pretty he's much he's definitely anything. very versatile because like he he his album didn't really have shit like this and this is like he's like flowing so know. well on it and he also was on the injury reserve album and he did well on that and that it's that's just like a testament to his skill yeah yeah no um yeah. but i kind of want to move into like lyricism because i mean i don't i don't know i didn't expect every single one of you guys to go through every track and read everything because yeah. like when you come to an earl album like there are definitely have a fucking dictionary that you next to you. yeah but like just talking about the first song, Old Friend, like already opening up with a double entendre, you know, Strong Spirit oh, wow. with the Body double Couldn't entendre. Get Asylum. Double, I mean, that's what he's known for. That's what Earl's known for, yeah, you know, double his double entendres. entendres. But like, yes. the cost of living high, don't cross Metaphor the picket assembly. line to get the virus. Wildcat has got him in a bind, stay inside. No in one came from out the thicket, smiling. Like, it's just crazy. I don't know, like, I, I can't crazy. help but like get lost in all of his lyricism because it's, it's so it has it. such a such a charm to it, I think, and how such cryptic it is. I I don't know. I'm, I'm I really Very I was really kind of interested. I, I think I think of anything, Earl got better lyrically on this album just because of I don't if know, anything like, he got better lyrically. Crazy. Okay. Yeah. No, doing? I agree. I have to agree. <laughs> um, what are you doing? I don't know if he. I would say he got better. I think he's still like just as good. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I don't think he got better. Yeah, but I don't think he got better. It, like, I, I think really that it's also more of what I expected as far as like the way he structures his lyrics and like the way he, he says shit. Like it's, he's just kind of continuing the style. It's definitely less depressive than some rap songs and that's due to the sound and the lyrics. But um, he's definitely yeah. still continuing the same he's type of style. He's a bit more energy. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I think just his, his state of mind also is another thing to take into account. Yeah. Like, Earl is definitely still, like, reflective on this album. But he still isn't, reflective. like, completely depressed, I'd say. Like, because that, out, like, you know, some rap songs is just fucking, like, sad. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, like, is, is you know, it's, 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 it's a heavy album. Because, you know, he's dealing with a lot on that album. He's talking about a lot on that album. Um, especially he's because people haven't heard from him. him. Yeah. He is, he's yeah, talking yeah. a lot here too, you know, he's, he's talking and rapping, you know, he's doing a lot of talking, doing some rapping, he's, but, um, he's talking, well, he's talking, he tends to talk on Look this me in my eye. I'm looking you Look in your eyes. eyes. I'm looking you in your eyes. He's, Let's talk. he's doing some talking. Let's talk. We're talking. And um, for the most part, I think that, I, I don't know, just lyrically, I, I need a lot more time with it because... I just, I'm just, I'm very interested in what he has to say on this album. And I, I just, on the four listens that I've listened to this thing, which is probably like nothing to some fans right now. Because I, I saw people got a hundred Scrabbles day fucking one. Like, God damn. Um, I, I just, I need more time with this project because I want to really get into like what Earl is talking about, what, he, what he's trying to say, what he's wanting to say. Um, 
yeah and then just looking at the album cover while i'm listening to it i i, I don't know i'm just earl is such a spiritual ass dude at this point that yeah. it, uh i don't know there's just so much it's, to take in with it's it. really too early like i don't know i don't yeah. have much to say about it because it's too early for me to fully digest it i think yeah 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 and like even the first even the first single he dropped 2010 like reading those lyrics are just it's like fucking oh my god it feels like you're reading like a death grip song bro like and how cryptic everything is and how so like i wouldn't say disjointed but like i i don't know it's just fucking crazy yeah what, i'm up, i'm um what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean what do you mean oh what are you hand, yawning? like yeah your hand was like going like this like i thought i said something like these are normal people okay what Okay, Vaughn, what were you, you going to say? Um, uh, okay, yeah, Vaughn, okay. what are you going to say? <laughs> this is fucking, this is like Chair Guy's alternate universe, bro. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> it's like, you just it's like being, some Twin okay. Peaks shit, bro. Okay. Vaughn. Yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm going to need a lot more time to like, to know what he's saying, because even on some rap songs, I haven't dug in like that. I've just listened to it a lot, so I kind of get the whole gist of it. But like, for this album, um, I mean, really the production just draws me in more and i focus on the production it's a lot like yeah like it's the same with a lot of this this style of rap like mike and shit like i just it's so hard to focus on the lyrics because i'll be focusing and then it's just like the beat is so good i can't like, yeah, I keep my attention and the and the lyrics are so cryptic that i can't like decipher them as the song's going on so yeah. it's yeah. like yeah i would just have to like go on genius for for like 20 exactly. minutes or something no and and yeah and especially with like Arm and Hammer's verse like the shit he's saying on that oh, track. Well, honestly, yeah. I think I think Arm and Hammer. Maybe I'm more used to their style, but like at least like Billy Woods, like I, I kind of, I I get Billy Woods lyrics quicker than than like Earl's. Earl, well, Earl's just yeah. harder to understand in general when he's rapping. Like, yeah, but like That's I don't I don't understand like, uh, Billy Woods uh, on on um tabula rasa says mm -hmm. like sesa seko mobutu is the dj play something oh. smooth like what the I fuck no, so, yeah, i have no fucking mobutu idea sesa seko is like some like president of like what does it say here and like did the democratic republic of the congo like like what the fuck does that mean like you're telling me some president like what like so it says kofi Annan in the booth so yinka in the stoop like it's just bars like these that i'm like what in the fuck does this mean like i, I don't know what this means i don't understand it yeah. i need more time with it it's just it everyone on this album has like they're like it's it, it feels like i'm playing fucking like i spy but like with words and like i need to fucking like figure it out it's like i don't I know and but but I, I will I will give this album a lot of points for still being cohesive because like we have like a trap song on here, then we have like a fucking underground song, then we have like that wonky ass beat, like like it sounds cohesive and like I like to picture just like I said, like a late night dinner party in like a Victorian <laughs> ass house, like an old ass house. Fuck you. I mean, I'm saying yeah, I, I, no, I, mean, that like, vibe though, but. I don't I'm the, that's just an interesting Yeah. I mean, I guess it's just cuz I saw the music video where they're all dead ass just sitting at a dinner table oh, and okay. like playing cards and shit. And I mean, like, now that you say it, it, I can kind of see it, but like just it just reminds me of like can like like there's no lighting, there's no like electricity in that house. It's just like candles and shit. It just feels very like, I would vibe. say rustic. Like yeah, rust yeah, rustic definitely. is almost a word. I'm covered too. Like it's just has oh yeah, yeah, the album cover too. Yeah, with the with the whole like sage and like uh, you know the, the the pills. Like it's definitely talking about, I guess, just like probably something having to do with like COVID and like the state of mind everyone's in right They're now. There definitely some COVID definitely. bars. A yeah, lot no, of I mean, references little, yeah, to COVID. Little, yeah, there are references itself. to COVID. Yeah, yeah, but but I I don't know. I'm I'm. It's just such. It's so interesting. This, this album. I think everyone's gonna need a lot of more time with um i definitely will be coming back to it there's no way i'm not yeah, going yeah, yeah. to i think i think all yeah, three no. of us here loved it um actually heisen you loved it right yeah i loved it i okay. loved it i <laughs> loved it you loved it okay that's good did I you really like it, it or did you love it there's like a did you really difference. like it or did you love it no you didn't i didn't fuck you bro. i'm done <laughs> okay this, this sucks but yeah no but overall i think snap it up that this this project just flows really well like it's when i when i go from track one 
to the final track, I'm like, damn, that, that went by really fast. Yeah. Surprisingly, well, it's this it's album feels like a, It's like 24 ish. It's, okay? it's like 24 minutes. Yeah. It's yes. actually it's actually dead set on 24. Like it ends like on accurately 24 wow. minutes. That's Unless, something. That's probably intentional. That 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 could be intentional. What does 24 mean? Mm, well, okay. mm. I don't know. I'm not trying to get know, all watching the throne here, but like what does that 24 mean? Is there a discussion to be had there about the number 24? No. Maybe we might have to go into like numerology and figure it out. I don't know. But hey, let's move on to our favorite tracks, I think. I want to move on to our favorite tracks because I want to see what Heiston was taking out with this album. So give me your top three, Heiston. Favorite tracks. Number yeah. one, 2010. 2010. Because yeah. that was the single. Or not because that was the single, but... That was the single, and I remember the first time I heard that song, I was like, okay, yeah, this is cool, but it's not one of my, like, favorite songs, and then this, like, I kept it on loop over and over. The beat is, like, nothing else he's ever rapped on before, like, yeah, it's so insane, like, every time I listen, like, the first time I thought the beat was just kind of cool and nothing else, but it's actually really insane. Yeah, I agree. you know what I mean, Vaughn. Vaughn, look me in my eyes. Vaughn, look me in my eyes. Okay, well, you're not. It's it's hard to look in your eyes because you're like yeah, because the angle, the angle isn't actually. Okay, yeah, but, like, but we're looking at you. I'm looking though. We're looking. Vaughn, what happened to us? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your okay? What do you think about 2010, Vaughn? What do you think about 2010? Uh, 2010 is is probably also my favorite because um. Okay, I mean, well, actually, you're just spoiling it. You're just spoiling the podcast for everyone. My bad. You know okay. what? I, let me. I feel like I have a. I'm. I'm like an oceanic being. <laughs> and I. Okay. Anthony's what I'm like about. Anthony wants to die right now, bro. Okay, I'm gonna cut you off right. <laughs> now. No, 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 okay, okay, no, 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 Okay. Number three, yep. uh, vision. Vision. W. W. Okay, All that's crazy. awesome. That's an awesome. Crazy. Yeah, uh, Vaughn, what's your top three, bro? Okay, 2010. Okay, I actually had a, a different experience. Uh, the moment I heard it, it was one of my favorite Earl songs because, <laughs> like, the beat just spoke to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just okay. Spoke to me. Uh, give me um, number two. And then vision is is vision. insane. Just that's yeah. like the oh beat is God. just perfect. And um God laughs. God, God laughs. laughs. Ah. Cool ass song. Hmm. So um give me so here's my top three. At number three, we have twenty ten. Uh I think just an absolute crazy track on the project. Um I don't know, that beat is just so <laughs> addicting. I love listening to it over again. The way it just starts up and then just goes into it. Like it's awesome. Um, number two, I'm gonna have to go with "Fire in the Hole." Um, I I think it's actually one of Earl's best like closers. Um, I absolutely just love that guitar. Um, like Same. I said, and it it just adds to that whole atmosphere of the album. Same. Yeah, I, I just love Same. what he's talking about on that album. Same. And my number one pick is "God's Laugh." Um, oh. Um. Or God. It's actually God, God laughs. laughs. My bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. God laughs. Um. I, I love how fuzzy it sounds, like the mixing, it, it sounds completely different from everything else. Um, and, and reading the lyrics, like I, I think I'm like the most moved by what he's saying yeah, on there. Um, I, I don't know, I, I think that's Earl like in his most reflective on the album, like him definitely talking about some of the shit on there. You're I'm fucking also, laughing at me. You also, okay. I'm okay, a drumless okay, demon. Anthony, Anthony. I'm a drumless yeah, demon. I love it you. Is, it is drumless. It is a drumless track, Anthony. Yeah. I What's know up? we've had our steady rocks. You're steady, are you okay, yeah? <laughs> but I'm here to confess my love for you. I love you too. I love you too. Yeah, are but... you excited to move on to talk about the next album? Do you know what it is? I know what it is. I know what it is. It's uh ladies and gentlemen, uh big fuck you to Twitter user Oscos Mariano once again. He, you know, technically you shouldn't even be able to do another fucking album, but we're making a rule that if you recommend an album one week and it gets picked Next week, you can't be able to do it. You got to have a one week 
you're on a one week break. One week break. So yeah. yes, thank you to no no not thank you fuck you to Twitter user Oscar. Thank you because the album Oscars. No, the album we're talking about this week is Bo Burnham's Inside. Inside. Uh, let's. We've all let's seen the movie. It. We've all seen the Bo movie, right? Okay. Yeah, we've all seen the movie. We've all okay. seen the movie, but but we listened to the album. Yep. We all watched the movie together, Vaughn. We watched the movie together. Okay, I wasn't sure if Heisen was there. Yeah, Heisen was there. Okay. Was there. Um, um, but let I want to give I want to give uh, Heisen the floor to talk about it. So, yeah. Hold first up. thing with this album, it opens. Wait. With oh, the, okay. oh, what's up? What's up? No, that's a, what's that's up, fine. Bro? You go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Okay. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Uh, what's up? Mike. What? Okay. Um. First thing with this album, you have these these gorgeous like synths, yeah. just like at the background, and I actually think his voice is quite kindred. <laughs> um, you know, very soft, but he's also very self aware and humorous throughout the whole thing. Yeah, and with the movie, I feel like he's making a big statement. Yeah, yeah. What's that big and, statement? COVID and the pandemic and, um... What the about COVID and the pandemic? Can you fuck off? I'm trying to, I'm trying to Let ask. them talk. This is the, Let them we're talk. We're a conversation. No, it's not a conversation. Um, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I think there's some kind of commentary being made when... Social. 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 He's social. Very social. I agree, Vaughn. Um, he's also anti-social, though. Okay, but no, he's not. Um... No, but that's that's part of the point, though. Well, that's yeah, but when you're watching the movie and he's making these silly songs, silly? They're silly. They're quite. They're silly. Yeah, they're quite silly. They're quite silly. Um, okay. I like the way he plays the keyboard. Yeah. Yes. Um, he's really good at it. Yeah. There's some chord progression. Uh, mm -hmm. D minor it's sharp chord. D, D minor sharp chord. <laughs> um. Hold on, let me keep going, let me keep going. Okay. Okay. Um, hold up, give me one second. <laughs> no, 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 one second, one second, please, I promise. What? Um, what are you doing? Okay. What are you doing? Like, the song, oh, FaceTime with my mom, that song really- Yes. Oh my fucking God. Oh. What's, What's wrong? What's your problem? What's wrong? Um... Okay. Yeah, like, you know, that song's actually kind of relatable because, like, I don't FaceTime my mom, but I call my mom. <laughs> and, you like, don't FaceTime your Why do you not FaceTime your mom? My mom, I don't think has ever used FaceTime. Really? But no, the, the percussion in that song, like, the rhythm is honestly really nice. And it's it's also... It's just a funny song because it's like you're talking to your parents and yeah. they're like goofy because they don't understand like what's going on exactly. They don't understand technology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that is that is kind of time really with my mom. Yeah. I call, she answers and does the hair and smell <laughs> and hi hi. I say through shot or shit. How'd you guess? You say your hair is wet. Is it, how is it wet? Okay, okay, okay. okay 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 after facetime with my mom yeah. i also no no no, no. i want to i want to <laughs> talk about the song problematic and bezos okay. too because those yeah, songs okay. i think <laughs> i like his anti-capitalist approach yes um i think he's saying a lot of things that people are too afraid to say right now um like I think it kind of opened my eyes, as it did for many other people. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like with the special, the movie, the album, Bo Burnham is speaking for me. He's like, it's like my soul is a wild beast that needs to be <laughs> uncaged. Um, I just want to thank Bo Burnham. For yep. making it. And thanking Oscos on Twitter. Finding rap. 
Finding <laughs> albums. Finding albums. Finding albums. At finding albums. Bro. At finding albums. He needs to find this album. For sure. He need, I think he does. I think he does need to find this album. You know, maybe he's already found it. Uh, yeah, so. Hold up. No, okay. Vaughn, no, 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 no. I want to I wanna talk about Bezos. I want to talk about Bezos. Just for one Bezos second. Bezos 1 or Bezos 2? Bezos 2. Bezos, really? Ooh, hot take on Bezos 2. Yeah. Because it's literally 45 seconds. It's longer than the that. The first one's like 30 seconds. Jeffrey Bezos. Um, it's, it's 45 seconds. Oh, it's... Okay. No. Oh, about, you know what, what another it? good song is? Well, what? what's another good song? A white Woman's Instagram, I think. That's my favorite oh. song. Oh, yeah. White... Yeah, um, White Woman's Instagram, yep. Um, okay, you know... The way he dives into these stereotypes about white women and white people yeah. in general. And it's kind of like a critique. It's a critique. It's, ver it's, ver it's very woke. It's very woke. It's very satirical. Okay, no, it's not woke. Like, I would say it's pretty woke because, like, you know, there's not enough white women talk going on. Okay, I don't think you understand the song, so just let me talk. Um, it's White Girl Wednesday. Okay, I'm muting you. Um, <laughs> he, it's kind of reminiscent and self-aware. Because he's white. Not only are the women yes. white, but he's white. And I feel like in this pandemic, he's had a lot of time to, to self-reflect on maybe his past relationships with people. Now that he's by himself all the time at home. Um, yeah. That's kind of an interesting point he makes throughout the, the special. Yeah, I think I, I think he's really critiquing his whiteness. I wanna I wanna pass it on to Vaughn though. Thank you. Okay. Thank yeah. Fucking God. Okay. This is this is I a beautiful see. album. <laughs> it's really just. I mean, uh, what what is there to say? I mean, Bo what Burnham, is there to say that hasn't already been said? Bo Burnham is a genius of comedy and i didn't know he was so good at music too that's He's kind of like a dave chappelle this album. figure um, the sound design on this album bo burnham Just is the dave chappelle level. of comedy bo burnham is the dave chappelle okay well dave what chappelle you, is also are, is this a joke to you anthony like that doesn't shut up bo bro. burnham is the dave chappelle of music awkward, awkward. Just awkward. off the bat content is just a beautiful song you know Beautiful synths, great drums, drum programming, you know? Um, and the fact that this uh, is all, like, done by himself, like, the special I know, it's too. just, it's mind-blowing, you know? Let's just talk about the cinematography of the special for a the little bit. Well, no, 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 because we're not here, we're here to talk about the I special. I love the, the well, I think that was very well done. And it was very well done. It went along with the music room. very well. It went along with the he music. He was in his room, and he managed to make a beautifully shot, beautifully written, beautifully executed movie and album and that's really he deserves his flowers for that and i was found within the bedroom facetime my mom and I was... <laughs> uh, are there any more thoughts you have Vaughn? i love sexting i love sexting <laughs> <laughs> okay do, do you do you love the act of sexting or you just love the song sexting? i love sexting bo burnham Wow, no. Oh, you love sexting by Bo Burnham, okay. Uh, that's not what I said. <laughs> okay, no, fuck you. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not recognizing what you said, because you're such a troll. Okay, let's pass it uh, on to the one and only, okay. our special guest. Introduce <laughs> yourself. Introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, my name's Anthony Spiked, and I fucking hate this album. This album sucks. This album fuck sucks. you, bro. This, <laughs> fuck you. I'm not. I'm not acting like I like. I'm not. I'm not trolling like you guys are. Like this I'm not album, trolling. I'm not trolling. This album fucking reeks, bro. This album is some dog shit. Um, I I am I am sad to say that I have friends in real life that like this album. Um, yeah, and me. I don't know how. I mean, they're really big Weezer fans, so maybe there's a correlation there. You're a really but big like, Weezer fan. Huh? I'm a really big Weezer fan. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, I I Liar. really don't like this album. I think it's very fucking stupid. Um, I think Bo Burnham is one of the most tone deaf people ever. Um, he's like he's trying to be so woke that like it's like reverse fucking woke. Like he's just stupid. Um, 
FaceTime with my mom is an incredibly stupid fucking track. I can't stand that track. Um, I was honestly like on the floor when I first listened to this and I and I couldn't like I was so fucking tired. Like I I, I couldn't I, I couldn't like th it, this thing is 50. Well, maybe it's minutes. due for re-listen. No, no, it's <laughs> uh, I listened to it like like yesterday. Well, maybe you were falling asleep. Okay, so. I just want to know like what's so stupid about FaceTime with my mom? Yeah, what's so stupid about FaceTime it? with my mom? I don't FaceTime my mom, so I can't relate. I don't and either. I, think I said neither that. Neither does I think, the I think the jokes are dumb. I don't think they land. I, I, they're not well, funny. Well, explain to me. why. Why? Why it's not yeah, funny why to me? They, why don't they land? Because I'm, like, I don't know. I'm not, like, a, a white, middle-aged girl. Like, I'm not a white girl in my 20s who, like, yeah, eats but up it's, Hamilton. Did you just shit. say like, no, middle-aged girl? critiquing white women. It's a critique. It's a no, biting it satire. That's white women's Instagram. That's a critique on white women. Okay, I don't care if you're white, black, purple, green. <laughs> <laughs> I what? I look at Everyone what's on is the, the inside same. of a person. Everyone you know, I look at what's inside. on I look at I what's on the inside color. of a person. You don't, see, don't color. see color. I don't see color. I don't see color. Either. I'm sorry, it's just that this album this album sucks. It's not funny to me. Uh, okay, I hate the have... synth work. The synth work shits on the idea of synths. It sounds fucking bad. It sounds why cheesy. Is it sounds so amateur and so cheesy. Yeah, why is that? No, I don't think it sounds amateur. I think it's actually quite professionally mixed. Yeah, and it's mastered. quite <laughs> quite, quite professionally mixed. I guess it's pro probably quite professionally mixed, and I guess that's why I don't like it. It sounds so fucking like stale. It sounds like it, it sounds like fucking like like old ass soggy ass bread and like it's fucking you you hit it on the table and it makes a noise like it fucking i think um, it sounds like some crisp delicious do you bread. at least think like bo burnham's like comedy is refreshing because like no i don't think his comedy is refreshing because there's so much people that do it much better i think it's okay. very refreshing i'm in love with nice bo seltzer burnham. i cannot get enough I, I think I, I could you. get enough, and I think that, like, that, that, that this was too much. I'm not okay, yet full. We have a Twitter, I'm we not have a Twitter full, legend I'm in the building. We have spikes from Anthony. <laughs> Let's go. I, I, I just don't like this album, and I know you two don't like it either. You're just being fucking trolls. This album sucks. Who are you to say that? Who are you to say our opinions for us? I don't understand. I fucking, I stand by it. This album fucking sucks. This album... Is absolute dog shit, bro. Like, I can't. I can't stand. I'm a banana. <laughs> oh, let's go. I love. I'm a banana, bro. Nah, I do love that song, but I'm a banana. This is just like, yeah. No, my favorite song <sighs> is the one with Saki. Oh the sock my God. puppet. Oh, that okay, well, song. That song reeks. Can that I can reeks. I talk about that song for That's a second? That's the best song because oh, yeah, it's actually it, 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 I feel like... it awoke me up to to a lot of different issues I wasn't aware of, you know. And also, also here's the thing about that song, it teaches you what school doesn't. Yes, I feel yes. like Saki is representative of the American school system. And Bo Burnham. Well, no, is Saki is critiquing the American school system. He's he's representative of what it wants to be, but it's yeah. hindered by by white people the yeah the, practically i hate white people um let's talk about how much i love white people let's okay Vaughn, Vaughn, let's take your idea and flip it on its head <laughs> i want to i want you to take that energy and figure out how you can contract it uh-huh let's talk about contractions c-section Birth. What city were you guys born in? I think Bo Burnham really birthed a new style of music on this album. I wanna, yeah. <laughs> that style being it fucking sucks. A style being its ass. Well, that's trash. that's not a new style. So that's he he created a whole new tier. Favorite tracks. Favorite tracks. None. None. I think I already None, went really? over my favorite tracks, but not my not, favorite. Not, my top like three is gonna be. White woman's Instagram, um, sexting, and Bezos one. I think, I think it's offensive that he has a he has a song that's the same title as a Tupac album. All eyes on me. Who's Tupac? Um, well, actually, Tupac spells it differently. So, 
Well, no, that actually, I know true. who Tupac is, but... Who is he compared to Bo Burnham? Yeah. 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 But, um... No, I don't fucking like this album. Fuck this is guys. surreal. Um, I don't, like, what's happening right now? I, I fucking... Heisen, I hate you, bro. I feel like we're in a, like, a, a, like, I'm in a dream. I'm in the movie. We're making a movie. Let's go. I'm, okay, okay, okay. I'm the director, Anthony. You're the floor manager. I'm the floor. Why am I the floor manager? What did I do to deserve the role of floor manager? What do you want to be? What do you want to be? Can I be like camera op? Camera op one? Camera op. Operator, motherfucker. You're an op. A, a cab. Okay. Anyways, look. <laughs> Vaughn, wait. This fucking reeks. Fuck you guys. Vaughn, I feel like you're the star of the show. I, I think Bo Burnham is a star. Yeah, but like, you're like, who's playing Bo Burnham? Oh, shit. I don't know if I can handle that, bro. Like, it's a lot to live up to, I guess. Having to be one of the worst human beings on planet Earth. Okay, but okay. Anthony, you obviously have a bias, so your okay, opinion. Okay, I don't have a bias. This, is, this is my first. This is my first. Your this opinion is, my first introduction. is in the trash. This is my first introduction to Bo Burnham, and it fucking sucks. It's trash. Have you heard the, Have you heard the, the song on YouTube? Wait, which song? There's a lot of songs on YouTube. The Kill Yourself one. Have you heard okay. Welcome to the Internet? No, 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 no. I'm being serious. I'm being serious. Have you heard? Okay. Top I think it's songs. time we move on to... Top I think three it's songs. Time we... um, FaceTime with my mom. Um, How the World Works. Um... Mm. White woman's Instagram, unpaid intern, um, all eyes on me, mm -hmm. all time low, <laughs> Bezos two, Bezos one. Okay, that's 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 enough. That's enough. You you you've picked your favorites. Okay, I think it's time we move into our next album. I don't even know how we're going to fucking do this thanks to what you guys have just done with this shit show. Um, next album we're going to be talking shit about show. is an Outcast album, but ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to be talking about that one right there because I, I don't have the one we're going to be talking about, but Which one? I put them out anyways. Uh, that's we're going to be talking about AT Aliens. So, um, Vaughn, I, I want to give you the floor. Talk about right, AT right, Aliens. Right. Serious mode. All right. So, It's the Aliens is pretty much a perfect rap album, in my opinion. Just like yeah. the beats you don't think the are immaculate. That. What's your problem? Anthony, you don't think that. I do think that. I, 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 think, I, I honestly think... Yeah, you don't think it's, it's perfect. Sick. You don't think it's... A... Anthony, do you think it's perfect? I think it's near perfect. Okay. The beats are immaculate. The rapping oh, performances, oh, oh. I think I think this album probably has like the best rapping I've ever heard. Like like at least mm -hmm. at least up there, at least like top three or something. Like like Andre yeah. and Big Boy are just like just two goats, bro. Like at their peak on this album, and no, there's just seriously. every song they come in and kill it. And the production is so beautiful. Like the like the layers, the instrumentation. And it's also ahead of its time with songs like Elevators and like E.T. It's it's very unique and ahead of its time. And, and um, it's just like, it's an album that I every time I come back to it, it's just like so good. It's just like so perfect. Every song, it's just like a perfect rap album and it captures the vibe of their music. It, like, okay, well, maybe not perfectly because they've had so many other styles, and, but like, it, it captures that time period for them and it captures a certain vibe of like slightly more lo-fi hip-hop slightly more more subtle uh sounding than than a lot of southern hip-hop of the time and it captures that perfectly i think especially compared to their debut this one's a lot more um it's a lot more vibrant and kind of mellow as yeah. well the mm -hmm. Yeah, no, like the beats I, are I very. Think, I think they're just 
they're kind of like soft, smooth, and it just allows them to do more crazy stuff on it. Like, yeah, the thing that stands out the most to me is just the flows on this album. The way they come in, just kill it on yeah. every beat. It's, everything sounds so clean. Yeah, yeah. I I, I honestly think well. like yeah, because like at the time when this dropped, because you go, oh, uh, you know, I did a lot of research because I talked about this on my show one time, but like. At the time when this dropped, there was nothing like Elevators. There was nothing like this album. It was, like, really fucking experimental for its time. And to think that this is what Outkast's response was to, like, people disregarding the South, it's just fucking crazy. Um, it's like, this is what you hit them with. And and, it, and it's so insane of a project. Um, just a lot of the things they talk about. The way the album opens up with uh, You May Die... It's just fucking awesome. There's like ladies singing, yeah. bringing you into the album. Um, just it, it, it sets you And then you up the next beat success. drops it's, in, and it's just like yeah, it's like yeah. Mm. No, it's it, it's such a good like fucking Sucks. album. Uh, I, I honestly, honestly, I, I I have no qualms with it, and that's why I love it so much. Um, but yeah, I, I just I just think that like definitely Heisen is right on the fact that like flows yeah. is what's at its yeah. like peak. Yeah. Like, like Big Boy sounds really Big good. Big Boy then, like, is the Andre... star of the show when it comes to that. Really, you think Big Boy did did better than Andre on this album? Yeah. On this album, okay. I'm gonna disagree, I don't know if but, I, but I, I I have to disagree. It's so yeah. close that I, I respect it. Like, yeah, it is. They they both are. Um, they always have. They always are like yin, yin and yang with each other. But I mean, I'm not Andre. Has like the better lyrics, but like Big Boy is just like. The craziest flows I've ever heard. Bro. Well, Andre's flows are like insane too. Like, well, yeah, like, of course. Yeah, but I think Andre Big sounds like he's like, better. yeah, no, the way he just raps on some songs, like on Two Dope Boys and a Cadillac, like he just sounds like he's like fucking like spazzing and like that. That's, that's yeah. a lot of his how his flow. I is. think Andre's flows are cleaner and and more like maybe most people would probably prefer them, like as far as that. But like Big Boy definitely has a more unconventional flow. And like, yeah, I think it, it, at his best, like he can really like be just as good, if not better. So, yeah, no, I I agree. And it, like, I don't know, just there's there's something about Big Boy that's that's so charming, because you have Andre on one hand who's very intrusive or not intrusive, um, very introspective and like yeah. Andre Andre has a lot to say and a lot to think about. Whereas Big Boy is just someone who's trying to make it to the next day. You know, he's living on twenty four hours and he just. He just cares about the car and the women and stuff like that. Like, he's not even yeah, but also he's not even above himself. He's to, also like, introspective a little bit, and and um, yeah, yeah, he definitely is. That yeah, that that chemistry strengthens both of their arguments. Like, the, it strengthens both of the ideas because it's like it's like you want to be introspective and, and like socially aware and and stuff like that, but you also just gotta live day to day. And um, it's kind of like an internal struggle that's like at the it, that's like at the core of this album. And it's not really yeah. like it's not really like examined directly, but but through that chemistry, it's like a it's like a theme that as as I listen more to the album, I get more of that that vibe from it. Yeah, no, 100 percent. And and it's just like songs like AT Aliens where Big Boy can still make a joke, you know, like I'm cool as a polar bear's toenails, you know what I'm saying? Like Oh well yeah, both of them have shit like that and, and just like funny little um like, like one clever little one liners and and also they the way they like bend words. I, I wanted to touch on like Andre rhyming mm -hmm. like Virginia with Continua is like like just shit <laughs> yeah. like that is what I love so much. And um, it's it it just comes across so organic and natural and cool as well, as opposed to someone like Eminem trying to do that. Like Eminem is like like stretching words. Like a lot of rappers try to stretch words and shit, and it's just like it just Andre and Big Boy natural, just have yeah. that natural like like it's not like they're trying to to go out of their way to do it. They just think it sounds good and it does. Yeah, no, the, there's no like thought put into it as in as in the sense of like. They're not trying to force it, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, like, yeah. that's how it feels with Eminem. Eminem's shit feels forced. Like, he's sitting there trying to come up with new ways. Well, yeah, I wasn't whereas... trying to dog on Eminem. I yeah, well, let's, not just, like, let's but... calm down on Eminem. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not trying to completely What's... insult him. I just, I It just feels forced nowadays. Why is but it funny? Like, 
No, it's okay. Um, Why I'm is sorry. it funny, um, Vaughn? Fuck you, bro. You know yeah, what? Okay. With... I thought we had something going on here. You. We didn't. Um, and then also. You met my parents. We're... I invited you to meet my parents. Okay. Some songs, some songs are absolutely just crazy in how minimal they are. Like I love how minimal this project is. Yeah, like, the beats. A jazzy bell. The only time it has a lot going on is with the the hook or the chorus, I should say. But then other than that, it's just like a just a it's quiet chill. drum break. Like that's uh, that's it. It's I don't know. It's and then elevators like is like the pinnacle of I think the album where where yeah. it's just so quiet. It's just that. I love yeah. that. Like I, I don't know. I just I just love how the beats are made here. Um, that beat is one of the most mind blowing beats like I've ever. Yeah, a hundred percent. No, and I, um, I forget his name, man. It's blanking. But like you know, a lot of the dudes in Goody Mob and and the Dungeon Family. Yeah, on yes. mainstream. I, I forget. Their, I think it's like organized noise or something like that. Organized noise is is different from Goody Mob, but they're the yeah. That's the production. Yeah, I know. Team. I was making. The, I wasn't saying they're the same. I'm just saying oh, they yeah, both yeah, did. Okay. They both had help doing. They both production. had. I think fucking essential features on yeah, the album. Like Andre has Andre has some production credits too on some songs as well. I'm pretty sure he produced some songs too. But I, I yeah, don't yeah. quote me on that. I wanna. But, they probably they probably oversaw it and shit, but. Oh, of course, no, one hundred percent. They probably oversaw it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But what were you gonna say, Heisen? I want to talk about the song "Mainstream." Yes, bro. Is that has pretty mob on it. Yes, bro. Yeah, it does. That's what about it? Mainstream is like maybe my favorite hip hop song of all time. That song just does wow. things to me, bro. Like uh, it's just you. You can go ahead, Heisen. No, I want to hear what you have to say. Bro. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, okay. It, their style of lyricism is very much like this on the rest of the album, but I think it's it's to the most here where they just like they just have their own flow. Like it's it's so unconventional and it just flows so naturally, like one lyric to the next. Like it's just it, it's kind of hard to describe, but it feels like a stream of thought, but it also is so it's so packed with with ideas and substance that like. Uh, every time I hear the song, I'm just like enamored by the lyrics, and it's just like, and also the flows of Timo Goody and especially Cujo Goody. Cujo has probably like that verse that he has on his song is like one of the best verses ever. Like I just is that the, every, one, is that the like the first? It's one? like the also, third verse. No, that's um, the, third the verse. first one. Is I love his voice so much, and like the way he comes in, I let you stay in my crib. Now you know where I live. That's like the best line I've ever heard, bro. Like, I, like where's, every time I hear that. Who was the first verse on the project? I, I can't um, remember. Timo. Uh, yeah. Timo. I like Timo's verse the most simply because it just has the most like, I don't know, dude. I was literally just listening to it right here and I caught myself like just bobbing my head to it because it's, yeah. it's just such a good fucking yeah, yeah. beat. It, like, it, it's a very warm track. Oh well, yeah, the beat is so it just like washes over you in the best yeah, way. Yeah, it's very warm considering that the entire like a lot of the other songs are very cold in a sense. And and also a lot of the other songs, um, the drums on this album are like so hard. Like if, especially the first yeah. few songs on the album, like just hit like harder. And that that song and a lot of other songs on the second half of the album like are just like yeah. more low. No, and like D that. and Decatur Decatur Psalm like has hard ass drums too. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, it, like, it's there's a variety throughout. The yeah, album. just all of all of the the drum work is just so fucking good on this project. Yeah, and also like everything they sample and or like just make like I don't know how to, I don't I'm not I don't produce shit so I don't know how to like describe it per se but but everything that isn't the drums I guess just sample. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just the so musicality and also the guitars I think add a lot to this album yeah, because the guitars, not a lot of hip hop albums utilize like an acoustic guitar like in this way and it just adds a whole dimension to to a lot of the songs especially mainstream like uh, it just sounds so good on that song and like and yeah, also like, like on um, like on millennium right? I think, yeah millennium millennium is one of my favorites as millennium well has like a really like it's just a very quiet fucking guitar in the background like yeah. really weird strumming too like it's not even like a full like it doesn't even feel like they're playing the full note it just feels like they're like kind of just strumming it a little bit yeah it's, um, it's it just adds like a yeah, whole no, uh, yeah exactly it. It, it's absolutely insane like 
I don't know, man. I, I ooze about this project anytime it's ever brought up because of just how no, impactful. You like, I love to look at the context of, of the time of when it was made. Like, like the, what it did for the South was just fucking awesome. It opened the door to, to what the ATL like. Yeah, but also it's, it's interesting to see because this album was so unique at the time and so like low key. Yeah, that, that it, was, it, it also it wasn't, wasn't representative. People didn't get the it. Sound. People didn't get yeah. it either. And and Equemini, no, this is that's so, really the yeah. reason. That's the reason Equemini is viewed as their masterpiece usually because that album. Then people got it. Yeah. People got it by then. But Equemini is probably more is innovative, like, honestly. But this is just. Uh, better, uh, I, I think. don't know. I don't know about that because Equemini no. has a lot of unique sounds, but I feel like this album was much more influential. Yeah. No, no most definitely. Like, no, maybe, but like a be like elevators is like much more influential than anything Aquamino was more out there that's true that's true like that's fair Aquamino was definitely more out there i just i i, I take this over Aquamino i just i mean yeah we all do like, but like um okay yeah it's just like i think this album just ages better every single year like it just like people more people understand that especially it's, it's compared really to like other southern piece. hip-hop before this yeah like not only their debut but this is just so much more like. Creative. It stands the test of time more than like, like it's like more else polished. Going and, on, like. and 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 their first album, I, I really like their first album's great, but it's it's it is a little dated, and it doesn't showcase their talents as much as this album. It's just so, like, yeah. Why would I listen to that when I have this? I feel no, weird. for sure. No, and 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 that's the thing. Like also like. The album cover is just fucking awesome. Oh yeah, the album cover is awesome. Like the whole like for comic sure. book thing that they went for with this project was really really cool. Um, I love the like little aliens in the back. They don't yeah. look normal. Like they look like a bunch of bullies and like I don't know, man. Just this project, like the song Babylon, it's is just so fucking good. I love that song so much. It's um, so fun, yeah. bro. Like the the hook on extraterrestrial. Mm -hmm. it's just like it's a little goofy but it's just fine yeah, that song is is insane i never i never like it took me a while to 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 really click with that song but it's like it's so unique and that's one of the that's one of the things about this album like like no one else was doing songs like et bro wheels of steel that's is like another one song that's like that for wheels me. of steel is also wheels really of steel yeah awesome. like you the, just get the stuck in your head shit. bro like uh, another song I want to talk about is the last song, Thirteenth Floor. That is one of the most emotional hip hop songs for me. Like, no, it's just seriously. one of the most emotional songs for me. Even though it's not like they're saying stuff that's gonna make you like like sob or or anything. Like, it's just like the beat is so emotive and the hook is so beautiful, and they're just talking about real shit. And it's just like it's not it's not too different from the content of the of the rest of the album. It's just it's just like enough focused on on being on on like reflective and and closing up the album that it's just like yeah no and and i think that i think what makes it so much more emotional is like the the uh the chorus um yeah definitely and the, and the women singing like because that's what that's what like oh like sh on shit like babylon like when the fucking girls mm. are singing on babylon that shit feel feels cathartic like almost throughout this whole entire project like i feel feels like 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 I'm watching time pass by and I can like physically see time pass by. Like it just, it's very emotional. Yeah. Um, and I think that if, if the project did not have as good as hooks, it would not be nearly as good. Not at all be nearly as good. I mean, not hooks courses, like all the, all the work that the, the, the females do. And I'm, I'm sorry that I don't know their names, but like their singing is so fucking good. Oh my God. Their singing is so good. It, yeah. They it definitely add to a lot level. to, I, well, I disagree with, that the whole album maybe but i definitely the the more emotional songs no, bro, and the more I'm sorry, but their, songs. their presence is so fucking perfect okay well album. they're not on they're only on like a few songs dude they're on quite a bit actually like when you actually go back to listen they're, I on, mean, like, they're on 13th floor they're on babylon what? they're on you may die like they're on okay fucking, yeah but two dope boys they're what? two dope boys like bro i can i can, i keep going no you can't no, you what? Like, that's it. That's it. What are you saying? Like, I like. I, I don't just, really get I just your love, point. I love the choruses. Like, I, 
I, I, I do too. I'm just, I mean, I me too. But like, I don't really get your point of like, like the album wouldn't be nearly as good without them. But think about a song like Thirteenth Floor without the girls singing. No, I would, I'm just saying. Still, really I, the good. album like okay, elevators wouldn't be any any worse without them because they're not. Yeah, all my a lot like, of my favorite like, songs. Like ha- at least half of the them, songs really. don't even have them. So no, my I, I guess I guess it's different for me then because my favorite songs have them. Okay, I feel like you're you're a bit pathetic. That's <laughs> what the fuck. <laughs> I'm tired. You are a bit dude. pathetic. You're a bit, just a little bit. Whatever. Whatever, but nah, just absolutely bar none, just fucking bar awesome. None. Um, okay, but but the hooks are are one of the best parts of this album. But yeah, yeah, the the hooks, their from, hooks, like, like like Andre Big Boy's hooks are. Yeah, are I feel like Andre's their, hooks are the best. The I feel like. women like like they're like yeah. elevators is like the catchiest thing on here, and like there's so many other like wheels of steel, just everything, even like the humming on on millennial or millennium is like catchy as shit and that's not even like a real hook so that's true but no nah, i don't know like i just love all the oh man yeah no, i know i love this album so much it's, yeah. it's just so fucking awesome um i don't know i, th- I think we've tired everything we, we could say that's good about it but i think it's, i think it's time we move into our favorite tracks so uh i sim- Oh, favorite tracks. Um, favorite tracks. Give me your top three. Okay. Elevators. Mm-hmm. Mainstream. Yeah. And long um, fuck. That's really good. Wheels of Steel. Probably. Wheels of Steel. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Vaughn, what's your top? Um, three? I'm gonna go mainstream, thirteenth floor, and um, and elevators. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go. Give me, I'm going to go Babylon. I'm going to go, it's hard. It's hard. Thought That's kind of interesting. You got floor. Babylon. Like, I, I absolutely love Babylon. I love that, Babylon. Like, I totally that is the song. It. That is the song that like, like helped click the whole album for me. That like, that's what that's made me realize. Oh, this, this is, this is the shit, man. Like, this is that, this is that fire. Like the way. The way uh, Andre opens up, like, I came into this world, Heisenberg. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's oh, probably a, no, that's Heisen, one of his best Heisen, verses. He doesn't say Heisenberg. Heisenberg, my bad. But, yeah, yeah I know, no, like, yeah. I, I, love, I love the way he comes in. Um, it's it's fucking insane. Like, it, I don't know. It just sounds like he's speaking from, like, on top of a mountain. And he's, like, fucking, like, spreading gospel. It's it's, it's insane. Um, and then, like I said, 13th Floor is just fucking emotional. I do agree with Juan. Like, it's 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 an absolutely beautiful I track. think my favorite part about Babylon is when it's Big Boy's verse. Big, yeah, Big Boy's verse. When he's talking awesome. about his aunt, Luke. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then That's my number one, one most, favorite like... track on... My number one favorite track on the album. I really gotta think here. Oh, wait. Is Babylon not your number one favorite? No, no. It's number two. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. No, it's number three. It's number three. Oh, okay. You're going backwards. Um, and then my favorite track, I'm going to have to give it to... You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think I'm, I'm giving it to Elevators right now. It, it changes yeah, almost okay. weekly, but I have to give you it to You don't listen elevators. to this song weekly, but... <laughs> um, yeah, okay. I remember. It's fire. I want to touch um, on... Before we, we wrap up, it. yeah, it's time to move on to our fourth album of the day. <laughs> we don't have a fourth album. DS4. DS4, DS4 by Gunna. Gunna. DS4 by Gunna. Vaughn, start yep. us off. Let's start us off. So, we're not talking about this album. I'm sorry. Um, we're not talking about no, this no, album. This episode, I'm not, I'm not doing this any no. longer, bro. Like, no, no, no. We're, I, will we're give talk- a, I will give a, I will give a shout out to Pussy Power. I, I very track. much enjoyed DS4. I recommend um, DS4. Some of the best Weezy was, beats. I thought it was all right. I thought it was all right. Okay, well, we didn't ask you. Um, <laughs> okay. This is my, I'm taking well, over the podcast. DS4 by Gunna. DS4 by Gunna. Very good album. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, um, we'd like to give a really huge shout out to Todd Edwards. Uh, thank okay, you so bro. Much. Okay, can we just get I out can't. of here? Can we just get out of here? Like this it's is no oh, fuck you. Yeah, I know. Okay, no, 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 no. I love, I love Todd Edwards. 
Oh. Uh, no, no, stop, 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 stop. Okay, stop. You got it. You 45k Draku. I'm going to go with, I thought okay, I was playing Pushing P and I was so playing. far ahead Empire. Just give me Pussy Power three times. Okay, okay I don't care. Oh, bro. Okay. Anthony, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming you're out. You're done. You're done. You're canceled. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming out to uh, the Chair Guys podcast. Like I said, big shout out to Todd Edwards. We love you so much. Okay, no. And uh, we'll see you me? next episode. With, uh, <laughs> we'll see you next episode. We got a big guest actually coming on. Yeah, I'm really a big, big guest. guest. I'm a big guest, actually. So we'll see you next Fuck time. You. Fuck right. you. Kill yourself. Bye. Fuck you. Fuck you.